Oh my... Okay, can you... First of all, I need to apologize in advance. Uh, I think I'm getting sick. I've had a sore throat all day. My head is killing me right now, but I'm not going to sleep because I need to film this. No, but seriously, I'm in legitimate pain. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm just uh, getting sick. Maybe just a cold. I don't know. I don't think it's a big deal. But so if my words are incoherent and my appearance puts you off, you can always just shut your eyes and listen, or if you can't stand listening to me, you can just exit out. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I loved this movie. Okay, let me just let me just take this one step at a time. I'm trying not to gush. I'm trying extremely hard not to gush, alright? So, let me just tell you now. If you go to this movie thinking, yeah, this is going to be an exact replica of Beautiful Creatures, no. No, it's not. I knew this in advance. People told me. I was told by, you know, uh, people who had seen the movie early. I, honestly, what did you expect? It, it's a huge book, and there's so much detail, and, I mean, like, like 12 chapter, chapters of it is just them figuring things out and going to different places and talking to different relatives, and I love it. It's not a, no, it's not a bad thing. It's not boring, but in a movie... You can't really waste time doing that. This would be an eight-hour film if you did not condense, and they did really well. Now, although there were some things that bothered me, I will say this about Beautiful Creatures, that the top three things that I adored, adored in this movie that made even the things I didn't like just okay, like what made the movie great to me. One, the writing. Oh my gosh, I don't remember who wrote the screenplay, but they did an amazing job. The, the, it's like, as much as I love Twilight, the one thing that always bugged me was everything kind of felt forced. There was no conversation that just flowed and people talked the way people normal people, you know, the way normal people talk or, you know what I mean? Some of it just didn't feel natural. Every single word and conversation between every character felt real and natural, which brings me to my next point. The acting was phenomenal. So well done. And now I'm thinking to myself, who doubted these actors? They took this vision and they just projected it with such a force. They were so powerful and you were so entranced by everything they did. I just adored it. And sorry, they, they, the, another thing, I'm sorry. Oh goodness. Another thing is the wit in the writing. Sorry, going back to the writing was awesome. The, the wit was great. It wasn't forced comedy. It was just smart and, you know, intelligent characters with natural wit. And the actors did an amazing job of delivering like the funniest lines ever. They were great. Which brings me to my third point. Ready? Ethan freaking wait. As much as I loved all the characters in the film adaption, I can honestly say I can peg Ethan Waite, not the book version of him, but the movie version, easily is one of my favorite protagonists in film history ever. Alden Ehrenme, whose last name's still, still, I just cannot, so German, uh, was amazing. He was so great, and he slips into this character like it's nothing. He brought to the table the Ethan, the parts of Ethan that I just adore. You know, like when he's waiting for something to happen, he's not sitting there like, mm -hmm. he's whistling to himself or, you know, ah, da, 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 like when he's walking back and forth and waiting for something. He's just so natural. He acts the way normal people act and he acts the way normal people would act in this paranormal situation. And I love it. It was perfect. Don't get me wrong, I loved all the other characters. Lena was, I, Lena made me cry a little bit. Macon was great, Jeremy Irons. Um, Emma, um, I'm not entirely happy with the Emma marion hybrid, only because the, the thing I missed most about the Emma of the books is the sass. I loved Emma's, you know, crosswords and 
all that stuff. So I loved it, but I, I wasn't inc I wasn't angry about it. I I really liked what they did. I just kind of wish they would have put a little more book Emma sass into her. That was that's great stuff. Um, anyway, it, it, as a condensed version of the novel, they did a great job. R really. There's so much in the book. Take a moment. If you're unhappy with how they condensed it, all you have to do, and my, my sister-in-law, who is wonderful, hey, Kyra, um, reminded me of just how extensive the novel is. There's a lot of crap going on, and they did a pretty bang-up job of putting it all together into a film, and it was a long film. Not that I'm complaining. It was great, but... Okay, anyway, another favorite was the music. I loved the music. Um... I'm going to be buying all of... Sorry, I was just making sure the camera was still filming. I'm tired. Uh, I will be buying the soundtrack. I already bought some songs, but I want all of them now. It's beautiful. It's dark. It's enchanting. It's so Gatlin. I just loved it. Uh, that was so well done. And, okay, now I'm just going to get this out of the way because I'm afraid I'm going to forget. There was just one thing about the movie I didn't like really, like, th that I truly didn't like, that I wish that they would have done different. Like, Emma's one thing, and I didn't really, it, it's fine. It worked, and it's okay. But I just wish that ending would have been a little more like the book. Only because Ethan, okay, one of the best parts about the story, not the book, the story in general, is that Ethan participates in this big finale. How he kind of runs in and realizes, oh, crap. This is bad timing with a capital B, like, whoops, you know, and uh, Larkin, that whole crazy thing. It's it's a pretty freaking cool ending. Now, I get Ethan not remembering, but Ethan um, remembering Lena at the very end of the movie, I was like, are you, like, why, why? But, but, so he didn't participate in that finale at all? He was sleeping? Ethan Lawson, wait, no, that that frustrated me, but but not enough that I couldn't love the movie as a whole because it was so well done that even if you haven't read the books, which my brother hadn't, you could still love it, which he did. Now, I also was I was with other people, and one of the people I was with said, from you know he's like from an outsider's point of view. There's not a lot of answers. I don't I don't really understand how this happened. And I was just like, and at first I was like, yeah, you're right. And then I thought about it and I was like, actually, you have approximately just as many answers as we had in the book. Do you guys remember at the end of the book, you were like, what, the, what just happened? Like, and then the next book comes out and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is why I sincerely hope they make another movie because I think the plot progresses and gets better as it goes on. And a lot of answers get you know, a lot of answers get questions. A lot, well, feels that way, doesn't it? A lot of questions get answers and so on and so forth. It's great. And I like Lena more and more. Well, you hate her for a little bit, but then you like her more and more. And just, yeah, we're still filming. Okay, sorry. Sometimes my camera shuts off in the middle of filming and it's really frustrating. So I loved it. I really did. At the end of the movie, I was speechless and I was breathless and I, te I never, I didn't like spill tears just because I was concentrating so hard, but I'm sure if I see it again, I will. I loved their relationship. It, there's just so much substance. You care about these characters and you root for them because they're not, I don't know. Have you ever watched a romance where you're just like, they kiss and you're just like, oh, come on. And you know, I think there's something to be said about, you know, two characters, they share a kiss and you're just like, yeah, yeah, you guys go kiss. I love you guys. You know, there's a big difference between a romance with substance and s such, like, you know, great feeling that you feel it too, and a romance is just physical. So I think they captured that really well. All in all, they captured the heart of the story. Maybe not the exact plot, but that's not what I love about beautiful creatures. I love the darkness. I love this gothic feel. I love the characters. And I just love the general story. It doesn't have to be plot point by plot point by plot point. That's not what's important. What is important is the heart of the story, which they got just fine. But while we're talking about plot points, that ending, no. No. What? What? No. 
Uh, anyway, some more things. I liked the eyes. I liked that they didn't do this gaudy gold color. They just, you know, the, that flashing. So that, that was cool. I liked that a lot. I loved the inside of the Ravenwood house. Uh, I liked Macon is awesome playing the piano and stuff. Um, Seraphine, uh, I forget the actress's name, but she is amazing. Amazing. And I feel... I just feel like you should encourage your friends to see this. Even if you haven't read the book, this was a legitimately good movie. As far as paranormal romances go, probably one of the best out there. How many paranormal romances have you seen that you were like, yeah, that's satisfying. No, that's a really fulfilling, deep story about life and, and death and... No, really, like, it was actually, like, really intelligently written, like, good job, like, be, let's be real. We all see movies sometimes that are just fluff, okay? Just admit it. I, I've done it. You've probably done it. It, it. You know, it's it's great while it's going, and then when you're done, you're like, yeah, he was hot. It's not like that with Beautiful Creatures. It's something deeper. It, it touches you. I really liked it. It was very well done. And while it can be argued... Like, it wasn't well done as an adaption. I I think it was, but I'm just saying you could argue it because it was so different sometimes. You can't say, or you could, but I wouldn't agree with you, you can't say that it wasn't a great film and that it wasn't very well executed. I can't wait to see it again. Guys, so good. Please go see it. Encourage your friends. I want a sequel and I want it so bad. And I am exhausted and my throat is killing me and I think I'm seeing stars. So I'm gonna go to bed. I freaking love Ethan, man. It's freaking great. Cammy Garcia and Margaret Stoll, congratulations. You guys should be really proud of yourselves. Also, everybody who worked on this film, you did an amazing job. Hold on. Still filming. Awesome. All right. Good night, you guys. Um, go see this movie. It is so worth it. Bye!